So hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're generating a Maclaurin series from a differential equation. Yes, if you recall the Maclaurin, in the Maclaurin series you need uh, you need f of 0, which you, what we already have is 1, it's given to us. You need the first derivative, the second derivative, third derivative, and so on. But we need the first not three non-zero terms this time. Okay, so we have the first derivative. Um, and actually, if you plug in y equals zero, y equals one, and x equals zero, you're going to get zero for the for this derivative. So let's go ahead and get the next derivative. Uh, so dy squared by d uh, d squared y dx second derivative equals the derivative of this one, right? So we do one minus, and then uh, product rule. I'll differentiate dx first. Then I'll differentiate the y and get a dy dx. Okay, so we have 1 minus 4y minus 4x dy dx. Okay, so that's that one. Now if I go get the third derivative, I just plug in uh, x equals 0, y equals 1 into this one. What do we get? Uh, we get this is 0. And we get 1 minus 4 times 1, so that's going to be a negative 3 for this one. So we need one more non-zero term, so we have to keep finding derivatives. If I differentiate this, I get 4 dy dx for that, and just a minus 4 here. Oh, sorry. This is going to be uh, product rule again. So I'm going to have to differentiate the x, I get 4 dy dx and then this is all minus everything here so I'm going to have a minus 4x times dy uh, or the second derivative which we don't need to know like this okay so actually I think I left out a negative here this is the third derivative okay this becomes negative 8 dy dx minus 4x times the second derivative. Uh, now, so the, yeah, if you plug in x equals 0, this term becomes 0, and the first derivative is equal to 0, so this is the whole thing is going to be equal to 0 again. So let's go and get the fourth derivative. Okay, fourth derivative. So we get der derivative of uh, this function. We're going to have negative 8 times the second derivative. And this is going to be product rule again negative 4 times the second derivative minus 4 times the third derivative. Okay, so we call the second derivative equals negative 3. So we're going to have negative 8 times negative 3 minus 4 times negative 3. And the third derivative equals 0. So that's going to be 24 plus 12, which equals 36. So we're going to have next one is going to be 36. So then the Maclaurin series is going to be 1 minus uh, 3 over 2 factorial, so 3 over 2 times x squared. And your next one is going to be the, that was from the fourth derivative. So you're going to have um, this number 36 over 4 factorial times x to the power of 4. Okay, so that's your Maclaurin series. Now you can, four, to, 4 factorial is 24, so you can simplify that actually to uh, 3 over 2 as well.